quick note before we go into the strength set today. Uh, I was chalking up my kettlebells, and I just want to remind you guys to also grab some chalk. I have just a bucket that I have outside, and I chalk it probably about once a month. Sometimes it goes about six weeks before I chalk them, but I just make the effort to get the handles, the body, the underside, my kettlebells of outside so they get a little rusty, so I extra chalk, take care of them, try to protect that iron, um, and make sure you guys always have a little bit of chalk. I have kind of a little bit extra today because of the, the work we did this morning, but make sure that you always have a little bit of chalk on the handles. That helps so you don't have to always chalk your hands if your handles are chalked. Grab a pair of medium-sized kettlebells and a heavy bell. We're starting off today in a squat, so feet are a little bit wider than the hips. Toes can be slightly out, and you're sitting into your hips, moving side to side. Whatever depth you comfortably go to. And we used to do this a lot. We haven't been doing proper warm-ups. In the videos, knee drops down, bring it up, other knee drops down, my other foot stays flat, and then try to keep your arms up with your hips halfway to go back down. Let's do five of those halfway up, back down, halfway up, good to go. Grab your weight. We're going into 20 squats today. So it's important to know the number of repetitions you're doing for the exercise and then always grab an appropriate weight. It might not be the same weight that I'm doing, but just think about that number and then think of if it's super heavy, maybe we're doing five to 10 reps. Medium is between 10 to 20-ish. And then anything that's around 20, you're going to want to be lifting a little lighter. That's more of a conditioning phase than really strength. When the number is 10 or less, that is pure strength, heavy, heavy weight. So grabbing medium bell, hike it up. We're reaching that bell up and overhead, trying to keep great posture here. And then I want you to try to push your hips back, really focusing on form today, sitting the hips down, standing all the way up to 20 of these. to go on perfect alignment so each time pushing the hips back keeping your back nice and flat belly in using those legs to keep that perfect posture as you stand up and to go Last one. Quick little break. Making sure, you guys, I, I stayed very quiet for that set. Just 
Just focusing each time, hitting those same points, pushing the hips back, keeping the spine in line. That's a lot of core and upper body work. Legs are doing a lot, but hold that belly tight, keeping the body upright that whole time. It takes a lot of mid body strength as well. Going into two sets of 20 swings. We're switching out for that heavy bell. Here we go. Press for 10. Should be breathless the whole time. Round two, here we go. Going into single arm swings. It's optional to keep the same weight. I'm dropping down just because I haven't been doing a lot of single swings personally. So 15 per arm. Here we go. Breath. Here we go. Second set. Other arm. Fifteen. We're allowed quick 10, 15 seconds. Uh, exercise four, we're modifying. Um, typically, you could do this on a stair. You could also do it on a couch. As long as your form isn't being compromised, you can always even just take the step away and do it on a flat ground. So one weight in each hand. This is about 36 pounds. So it's on the, the heavier side. Right foot stays forward, left foot will step back. And then try to get those shoulders rolling down the back so that the lats are engaged, belly's turned on. We're lunging down, 10, press to stand, two, three, four, Eight, nine, 
Switch legs. It's important here that when we're lunging down, that we're not losing length. So as I go down, if you were to stop me at any point and measure, it would still add up to my total height. Two. the weight down. Drop a mat if you need it. seconds. You're really just switching everything up. Grab it and go. Switch right away to number three, all the way through ten. The last thing I'm going to say today, and this is just from watching people over the years doing strength or even just body weight stuff, is as soon as you allow somebody to bend their knees, the rest of the body crunches up, and that it, it almost tries to give you permission to shorten your body and the people that become really good at strength and rise to the top they're not allowing their bodies to shrivel up and to get shorter that is what you're really trying to fight against is holding that weight wherever you are trying to maintain that length and that good posture you want to be feeling that lift up out of your joints when you feel that, and you can maintain that for whatever number of reps, that's when you're gonna get that so-called afterburn. And it's a true afterburn because your body now has this metabolic, it's, it, ha it has this extra lift. You're fighting against gravity. Um, so when you go into the second set, if you felt like at any part, when you start to bend your knees, you start to hunch and get shorter. Try to fix that. Put a mirror in front of you. Look at your posture. Try to open up and stack your joints. Feel good about this. I'm putting a lot of trust in you guys that you guys finish those Turkish get-ups. You did all 10, and then you're doing another round of this. Okay, This isn't a babysitting program. This is me giving you workouts that you can do at home that you're going to do. Please make sure you do all of these unless something doesn't feel right. I hope you guys enjoy this set. I did. I'll see you guys next week.